Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Great Gibraltar Draft with Hound Dogs. Today we've got Dynamo Kiev in the league. Updates on things will come. Not much to update you on. We're top of the league as usual. Before we get started though, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on more of this stuff. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Um, but with that said, let's take a look at kind of how things have gone since our last game against Arsenal. Now, um, we obviously lost that game, unfortunately, uh, to a bit of a mistake by Laurentino. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about it anymore. It's fine. We don't talk. We just don't. What we can talk about is the 4-1 wins against Lincoln and Europa FC. Great wins. Great stuff. On fire again, as normal. No concerns there whatsoever. D Dynamo Kiev today, though. We're back for this one because today we could get into the knockouts of the Champions League. If we win today's game, we are in the knockouts. That's just factual information. So this could be a, a club record breaking moment for us here today. So it's certainly one to get excited about. Now, with regards to, there are a couple of transfers I do need to make you aware of. I don't think anything has officially gone through just yet. Oh, there is one. Uh, let me just double check on the other side. Yeah. So Ramon William has left us to a glasses United. He wasn't going to get the game time he wanted. Um, we haven't got the time or resources to develop him enough to play in the first team. So, yeah, he's gone. We got a bit of money for him. We lost a bit, I think, overall, but nothing too much to worry about. Uh, otherwise, in the transfer centre itself, we have got a couple of transfers that have been arranged and will be going ahead and one that will probably be going ahead. So, Leonardo Lola will be leaving to join PTM uh, in Portugal at in January, um, just in case he wasn't getting the game time he wanted. He's 32 years old now, so he's not going to develop or anything like that anymore. Um, he was kind of a stopgap. That was his role. He fulfilled that role brilliantly, um, did very well for us there. Uh, so he will be moving on. And Abubakar Sawadogo is another one where he isn't going to get the game time. I said to him, you probably won't get as much game time as you want. So he's said he wants to go. He's gone. He's going to Amiens in France. Um, 26 years old. So there was still a bit of room and time for him. But I think Salafu is just a little bit better anyway. Um, but yeah, I think Abubakar Sawadogo, decent decent player for us over the years. So can't complain too much. And Nut Gran as well. A couple of teams came in for him. And I was like, well, he's moaning. He's bitching and moaning. So we'll move him on. Simple as that. So we're looking to get rid of him as well. Inter Milan has just beaten Salzburg 9-0. Blimey, Arsenal beat Benfica 5-1. Great. That's just what we need. So today, it is Dynamo Kiev. It's a massive, massive game. Because like I say, if we win today, we go through. We're into the knockouts. And we've done something we've never done before. Now, how are we going to go forward with this? Not sure. I think what we will do, Naranjo can go out left. We'll pop... Loth up top. I think that's the best way to go about it. Pele's at left back, Murray, Pardo, and Mbayamba at right back because currently we've got Benali and Dagger Ang both out injured. So we are having to make shift right back it. But I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be fine. Uh, we've got plenty of other players that are solid enough going forward. Costantini might come in as well at some stage to to get up there. So we're we're good to go on that front. The cat is just walked cat's decided that he wants to join in um on the celebrations. I've just taken the mic out of the stand. Oh my god, we're all panicking. Right, let's get into the game and, and see how things go and then I can fix this mic because this is all over the shop. Look, cat, you've just come in and wrecked the place. We're trying to we've got a bit it's a big game today and you're you're acting like it's nothing. That it's just a game. It's not just a game life-changing right yeah. right there you go i fixed it now leave me alone no don't what are you doing let me concentrate oh come d oh god oh there's the tail yeah and he's rolled over great anyway <laughs> let's concentrate on the game now now that it's kicked off um four minutes in Everything's going okay. Everything's to plan so far. Nothing nothing too drastic at this stage as they do come forward. We've got the advantage of obviously being at home um, in today's game. But that doesn't mean too much as the cat again jumps up. Look, I love you too, but can you can you just come down here? 
because you're just in the way otherwise. So that's one thing, right? I don't know if anyone else has got cats at home, but Leo likes to lay on my lap and then kind of slide off upside down onto the floor. And I'm like trying to hold him and he's and it's it's like he actually wants to do it. It's not like a accidental slide off that cats sometimes do. It's a proper like, oh, I want to I want this as a slide. Anyway, Dominic Ballard through and goal, tucks it away. San Viero with the assist. Fantastic start. 20 minutes in. We're one nil up. We're looking good. We are looking very, very good. As I'm glad we do look. Murray with the header down. Amonin Odo with a, a pass to Saravero and then Ballard's able to tuck that past the keeper for one nil. Great, great finish. Gives us the lead and gives us that opportunity of going through to the next round of the Champions League. Everyone's saying quite quietly because it still might not happen, but we're hoping it does, aren't we, Leo? Yeah. Ball comes forward, headed away by the centre half. It's played forward once again. They look. I mean, this is some lovely football from. Kiev, who's thrown on goal, and they've smashed it wide. Letinho did, he did enough. He did enough to put them off, to, so they couldn't put it on target. Fine by me. As long as he does enough, we're all good there. Um, but five minutes to go till half time. We're looking good. We're looking solid. We're looking, we're not looking like we're um, in any kind of issue. We're, I mean, that's the only chance they've had all game so far. Uh, Smet back, we will take off for Sorensen, I think. Reason for that is just because he's not performing quite as well. Thank you, Kat. I appreciate that. That's really nice. That was really cute. You're Okay, you're being really cute. Thank you. Uh, for, <laughs> just in this second, maybe you're the lucky charm. Maybe that's what it is. You're lucky. You being here has led us to, will lead us to victory. You are the hound dogs. That would be really ironic, would it? If you were the mascot for that hound dogs, because dogs. Oh, the second goal. <laughs> I couldn't even see that one. I'm home. Oddo with the goal. It's 2-0. A lovely strike from the edge of the box. Five minutes into the second half, we've got a doubler for the lead. It's, I mean, it's great stuff. It's Pele into Amanon Oddo. It's headed clear again. It falls straight back to him. Uh, and he's able to tuck that one away from from a long, long way out. It's a great strike, really. Um, don't think we're giving it as much credit as we should do. But five points clear now from Kiev. And they've got to play Arsenal. So unless they somehow manage to get four points <laughs> from their final game, I think we'll be okay. Uh, ball switched that one to Ballard, but it is headed away. And they will look to... Sweep that up and bring themselves forward again to try and get a point. They need to get something from this game. Otherwise, that is it for them in the Champions League. But they've still got a chance to fight for Europa League. As the ball switched out to Naranjo, who's going to look to take on his man. Cuts inside on his right foot. Uh, loses out. Yeah, I thought he was going to do something a bit more than that. Um, I'll be honest when he cut inside. But now it's Kiev coming forward. Diallo on the left-hand side. Being ushered out wide by Mbayama. who's done really well today to kind of keep play is quiet um he's not naturally a fullback he can play there absolutely but he's not naturally there um so he's done a very very good job today to just plod along nothing special doesn't have to get forward too much just to be there stop the balls coming in the box and we'll be fine which we absolutely have been so far half an hour to go it does give us an extra advantage in defending corners and attacking corners though as well so that's quite nice but 20 minutes to go. We are looking so, so good. We are, I'm feeling very, very confident, very happy. Loth will come off. Constantini will come on for that one. Um, and I think the other thing we'll do is we'll prop Amon, Am, Amoron, Amonoma Ondo. I'm going to have to change his name because that's too much effort for me. Um, we'll pop him out left and then Rog will come in at attacking midfield just to mix things up a little bit. In there, give a bit of legs in the attacking areas. I think defensively we're pretty solid at the moment. There's no, I've never, I've not really felt any concern, even though they have created a few chances. Um, but a few minutes to go. It is a corner now. Whips in to the near post, headed away clear, 
clearly and nicely. I need to work on corners. I keep, I say that, I think I've said this hundreds of times, but I need to sort out my corners and try and actually sort something out with them rather than them just punt it in the box and it just get headed clear every time for no reason. Uh, as the ball looks to go forward, it's headed away by Kiev. Um, and they're going to look to try and find some space now. Comes forward once again, switches out right to Diallo, who again is maybe one of the only players that's actually done anything for Kiev this game. As he gets to the byline, whips that ball across. Murray does well to get in front of his man and clears to Pelez, who will drive forward. Now going again. Murray into Parado. He's got plenty of time on the ball. I don't know what this def attacker was doing up there. Constantini's not able to win that and keep it up front, though, as they will come forward once again. It's on the overlap. Looks around the corner. Kiev shoots. Latino with the save. Straight down him. To be fair, it wasn't a hard one to have to deal with, but he had to deal with it in the end, uh, and he certainly did. And we are through to the knockouts of the Champions League. I mean, what an achievement that is. We, we've done it for the first time ever. Um, wow. I, I, I'll be honest, I never thought it would happen. I never thought we'd get to the knockouts of the Champions League. We've, But we've managed it. We've done it. We qualify for the knockouts for the first time. I think. I mean, that's quite... I'm happy with that achievement. I think we've done very, very well um, to get there. Uh, wow. I, I'm a bit speechless, to be honest. I'm a bit speechless. It's it's really, really got me. Um, but we will come back for that knockout round. We've also got the Benfica game, but... We're already through. There's nothing to worry about there. Um, so with that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one.